Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL Diff general overview video. Apex SQL Diff is a SQL Server development tool that is capable of comparing and synchronizing database schemas, including tables, views, procedures, functions, and other database objects. Data sources include SQL Server databases, backups, source control projects, script folders, and schema snapshots. Apex SQL Diff also supports schema synchronization for Azure SQL Database and Amazon RDS for SQL Server. Apex SQL Diff features include the ability to automate and schedule schema comparisons and synchronizations using the command line interface, propagate schema changes from one environment to another, identify and repair lost and or damaged objects from backups without a full restore, Recognize all object interdependencies to ensure error-free synchronization scripts. Compare databases directly from SQL Server Management Studio. Compare SSIS packages. And much more. Apex SQL Diff consists of three main components. GUI, a Windows application used for manual comparison and synchronization, and various options for the comparison and synchronization processes. CLI, a console application which allows users to schedule and automate schema comparison and synchronization processes unattended. Add-in, an add-in that allows initiation of comparison of databases or other data sources directly from SQL Server Management Studio. Now that we've covered the main components and features of the tool, let's walk through the process of using Apex SQL Diff to compare and synchronize data sources. Upon starting the application, the project management window will be shown, where a new project can be created or a previously saved project can be opened. To initiate a new project, click the New button and choose between Database or SSIS Comparison Project. For this video, the Database Project will be used. In the first tab of the New Project window, the Data Sources tab, Source and Destination Data Sources are specified. Choose between five different data sources for both source and destination, including Database Backup, Live Database, Script Folder, Schema Snapshot, or Source Control Project. For the purpose of this video, databases are set for both source and destination, where the destination database will be synchronized with changes from the source database. In the Options tab, choose to set the specific comparison and synchronization options, along with the optional output elements options, and managing owners in the synchronization script. For more options, expand the Advanced Options, and four additional tabs will be shown. The first one is the Package tab, in which options can be set for the executable installation packages, such as compression, error handling, logging, and optional package information that will be shown in the Package About window. Next is the Schema Mapping tab that, by default, matches schemas with the same names in the source and destination, but also allows for customizing schema mapping pairs. If there are differently named schemas in the Compare Databases, Report Schema in Source and Reporting Schema in Destination Database, for example, just pick them from the drop-down list in the first row and click the Add button, and all objects that have these two schema names will be paired. Once the Object Filter tab is selected, by default, all object types are checked, along with the automatically mapped objects. Each object type, along with all its objects, can be included or excluded from the comparison process with a click on the checkbox for the desired object type or for the individual object. In addition to manual checking or unchecking of the object types and objects, the Object Filter tab allows users to filter objects by the schema or name. The Filter Editor allows specifying conditions for schema and object names in order to filter the list of objects that will be compared. To initiate the Filter Editor, click the Edit Filter button in the top right corner and provide the desired condition. In this example, objects are filtered by schema name, so that only objects with the schema name Sales are shown. 
The last tab is the Additional Scripts tab, in which pre- or post-processing scripts can be configured. These will be executed before or after the synchronization process, respectively. In this example, the Embedded Script option is used as the pre-processing script and the script to create the table is added, while for the post-processing script, an already created script that will create another table will be loaded using the Use This Script option. Once everything is set up, click the Compare button from the bottom right corner of the New Project window and the comparison process will be initiated. After the comparison process is done, the comparison results will be displayed in the Results grid. By default, the comparison results will be grouped by difference type. Different, Missing, Additional, and Equal. In the Results grid, objects can be additionally filtered with a click on the checkbox to manually check or uncheck them. Since Apex SQL Diff handles schemas differently based on whether they are different, missing, additional, or equal, let's clarify what each object difference means and what will be its resulting action in the synchronization process. Equal objects. It does nothing in this case. Missing objects. These objects exist in source, but not in the destination data source, so they are added. Different objects. These objects exist in both source and destination, but they are different. So the object's script in the destination data source will be overwritten with the script from the source data source. Additional objects. These objects exist in destination, but not in the data source. So in order to make the data sources the same, these objects will be deleted. Each difference between compared objects is highlighted in the Script Difference View panel, and it can be easily spotted in the navigation bar on its left side. One more feature that can help to quickly determine differences is the Differences by Type feature. It shows which specific type has differences which are shown in detail in the Script Difference View pane. In addition to manually checking and unchecking objects, additional filtering can be done prior to the synchronization process. The Object Filter panel allows users to show or hide specific difference types or object types in the results grid. Additionally, object types can be filtered by using the Filter Editor feature to show only tables with schema named Production. The Difference Filter is one more filtering option to filter the comparison results further. Objects differ based on several attributes. For example, DDL triggers can differ in extended properties, but if that doesn't need to be taken into consideration, the extended properties can be ignored and that DDL trigger won't be shown as not equal in the Results Grid section. By clicking on the Export button from the Home tab, the comparison results can be exported into seven different schema change reports. HTML Simple Report, HTML Interactive Report, HTML Schema Report, Excel Report, Direct Export to a Database, SQL Script, and XML. Let's choose the HTML Interactive Report and set the report options of what should be included in it. Once the report is generated, open it in a browser and navigate to the expandable parts. Comparison results by object, scripts, and differences. Under the Comparison results by object, expand the desired object type. Click the object to review, and then expand both scripts and differences sections, so that exact differences can be reviewed. If all desired objects are checked for the synchronization process, Click the Synchronize button from the Home tab to initiate the synchronization wizard. The first step in the synchronization wizard is to confirm the synchronization direction or change it with a click on the Direction button. The second step is the Dependencies step, in which, by default, all dependent objects are checked to be included in the synchronization script to avoid breaking dependencies in the destination database. The third step is the Output Options step, in which the action can be chosen from the drop-down list, along with its corresponding options. Four different actions can be chosen. Create a synchronization script. Synchronize now. Create a C-sharp solution. Create an executable installer. In this example,
the Synchronize Now action is chosen that will perform a direct synchronization on the destination database and options to save a copy of the synchronization script and create a rollback script as a backup option are checked. In the last step, any warnings and actions can be reviewed in their separate tabs as the last checkup before executing the synchronization. If this project needs to be repeated, it can be easily automated by saving the project file and creating a batch file that can be scheduled via SQL Server Job or Task Scheduler to run the synchronization unattended. To create and save the batch file, click the Save as Batch button in the bottom left corner of the synchronization wizard. As displayed, the batch scripts will contain all the CLI switches for options that were set along the way as the project was constructed. Additionally, if the Project File option is checked, a project file will be created and the batch script will contain a reference to the project file that will replace all CLI switches for project options and encrypt any passwords that might be set for SQL Server authentication or for the source control system. Once everything is reviewed and set, click the Save button from the bottom right corner of the Save as Batch window and provide the location where the file should be saved. After the batch script is saved, the last step of the synchronization wizard is shown again and upon clicking on the Synchronize button, a prompt message will be shown in order to notify that changes will be made on the destination database. Click the Yes button and the synchronization script will start with execution. Once the synchronization process is done, the results window will be shown along with all information messages about taken actions. The execution results can be saved in four different output types, text file, Word document, web page, and PDF. Once the execution results are saved and the close button is clicked in the results window, the data sources will be compared again to check if everything was properly synchronized. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.